I'm really excited about development in synthetic biology research where a number of different labs are working on ways to make materials in new ways that make really functional materials in a really self-assembling kind of a way, right? So there's new techniques for making, for example, uh, biofilm mimics or different kinds of bacterial cellulose that you can functionalize. I really like structural materials that are being made or conductive materials. I think there's so much potential in using engineered organisms like bacteria to make really advanced but kind of inexpensive, easy to make materials. Primarily, one of the things we need to do is improve the throughput of the research, that uh, we need ways of basically going around the design, build, test, learn loop faster, which means more automation. Um, getting things from the research labs to uh, production means that you have to be able to do design space exploration much more rapidly, which means changing the way we do things using computational tools, um, automation and the like. I think that's going to be fundamental to moving things forward in this area. So for development of future biomedical applications, I think that I was really intrigued by a recent paper from the Stuttgart lab from ETH Zurich, where they were using a 3D printer to print bacteria uh, kind of around the shape of a doll's head. And then the printed bacteria made cellulose, kind of a mask of cellulose to fit the shape of this doll's head. And they proposed that this could be a way to, for example, make skin grafts for people that need replacement skin or a way to kind of envelop organ transplants to prevent scar tissue formation. I thought that was really interesting. We need to have um, good information available, readily ac accessible and uh, findable so that you can actually uh, find information, not just have to go through and do the same sort of explorations every single time. So the more this information is captured in ways that can be reused, it's going to expedite the process of um, finding new thera therapeutical solutions. So we're developing tools for 3D patterning of bacteria. So we're making these 3D printers to print bacteria, and our goal is to try to develop techniques where any lab can make their own bioprinter in a way that you don't have to be a mechanical engineer, you don't have to spend thousands of euros or pounds, they're just a few hundred pounds, anyone can make them, and then you really have the ability to develop spatially patterned you know, bio tissues, living materials for functional applications. Well, I'd be amiss probably from my area not to say that it's the, the computational tools that are really important. I think going forward, we need to move away from um, doing everything in sort of Word and Excel and start embracing these uh, computational tools for editing our sequences and uh, planning our experiments and, and capturing our data. And I think that's uh, critically important to move this uh, from sort of the small into the large uh, scale. So the future of synthetic biology for 2019, I have to say, is applications. I mean, I feel like there's been so much incredible foundational work to make these complex genetic circuits with excellent control over the response of the outputs. I think that the time is ripe for us to use this to start making applications, make materials, make responsive systems that detect changes in your health, changes in the environment. And I think if we merge biotechnology with our incredible genetic circuits, we can really have, you know, engineered systems that function at a whole new level than we've seen before. Things always take longer than you think, um, so it, it's hard to to guess at what's going to be happening in just this one year, but I imagine that we're going to see more and more uptake of these tools, um, data standards, developing libraries of parts. I, I do feel like there's we're hitting a point now because of the tremendous investment we've seen from uh, into the of capital into these companies that they're going to be pushed to to accelerate their delivering so that the, the investors are happy and to do that once again you need to use tools and data standards and data repositories and like to make that happen. Mm -hmm.